Hey besties, it's your girl Catherine. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. You know, I was actually watching my last Project Use It Up video for this intro for summer and I'm wearing the same sweatshirt. So I guess it's the consistency of it. I like to wear some very comfy, cozy clothes whenever I'm doing Project Use It Up just because when I'm gathering all of the products, it's just like up and down the stairs. I'm just like a little sweaty. The blush is looking a little sun-kissed. Anyways, today I am going to show you guys my one month update of my summer project use it up items. It looks like I didn't make any dent from the upper top caps and bottles, but it does feel a little lighter. Do you guys prefer if I do bi-weekly updates or monthly updates for project use it ups? So you guys love this type of content because it kind of motivates and inspires you to use up your products. So if you're new here, hi, my name is Catherine and I go through a lot of body care. The goal for this time around is to try to get some dent out of these products because I don't want to rush myself into trying to finish a product that I just don't end up liking anymore. So I'm trying to get rid of that fatigue and just use any products that I do have in my collection anytime around. So this has been an entire month of using all these products and some other products that are not in this project use it up. So let's go ahead and get started. First off, we have my little pocket back hand sanitizer. This is the blueberry crumble one. I remember I showed you guys a one that was just standing in its place, but I thought it was at like the middle line, but it's not really. It takes me so long to get through pocket backs, you guys. And it's because I don't really go out. Nah, not really. Sometimes I'll just go on like a day trip somewhere once every couple of weeks, but then other times I'm just at the grocery store and I use like the sprays more than the pocket backs, but my goal is to try to finish this up. And I don't mind using this during the fall time too because blueberry crumble is so good, but she's at the halfway mark. Hopefully I can get it like at least to right here by the next update. So that's what's on my keychain and trying to use up. I have the Champagne Toast Hand Cream and this one I've actually been really impressed by using it up. I actually kind of do like Champagne Toast but in like smaller quantities. So it was full before and now it's maybe like five to six more uses. I'm really proud of myself. It's like halfway gone. So this is probably one of the oldest hand creams I have but the formula still is consistent. But let me know down below if you have ever had a hand cream gone bad because I haven't had that experience before, but I do have a couple of hand creams that I do need to finish because low key, I have been neglecting hand creams for a while now. So I need to step up my game and use them up. We have some hand soaps. I did get a pretty good chunk of hand soaps done and Here's the thing, I do have a Firecracker Fizz hand soap that is in the hallway bathroom that we have, but that one has barely made any type of dent. I will show you guys what it looks like. Okay, so this is the watermelon lemonade one that is in my bathroom. This is my sister's on her on her side and you guys can see it's really good chunk for after a month she also hasn't been here because she's living back at my hometown for a little bit for the summer, but you can see it's pretty impressive for like a month progress, right? Like this would be done and we would probably use a different hand soap if she were still to be here. Mostly my guy roommates, they are using the hallway bathroom. So it was like up to here for the firecracker fist and now it's like right there, like no dent. I'm like, dudes, are you guys not washing your hands? And I don't think they are. So it's kind of gross, but I do have to remind them to like, hey, we got to finish up these products. Don't worry about using like two pumps, three pumps if you want, and they just don't listen to me. That's what's happening with these two. I also have this Mango Mai Tai one that I officially started using, and this is for the kitchen, and here are the progress lines. I think I replaced this like last week. I also have this Black Cherry Merlot. This is in the half bath downstairs, and let me tell you guys, it's so gone. It's almost done. It's literally like maybe four more uses left, five, maybe three, if someone's like, go a little heavy on the hand soap, it'll be done. But this has been in the half bath for so long and I'm just so excited to like get this one out so I can use something else, but I'm not mad. Because here's the thing, normally people don't really use the half bath unless we have guests or someone's taking up the two bathrooms upstairs. The last hand soap I have is this What's Shaken Cookies and Cream Milkshake. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, the fragrance, even though it smells really good, it has kind of like an off-putting, like off-brand cookies and cream. Like it smells like cookies and it does smell like an Oreo, but it smells like the off-brand of it. I don't know why, but here are the progress lines from here to here. This is the one that's on my sink at the moment. I don't hate her, but I don't know if I repurchase her, but I do have like a backup of this one. The packaging is really cute though. 
I'll say that. Now let's continue on with shower gels and if you know me, it takes me forever to get through shower gels because even though I'm thinking I'm using like a ton of product, I look back at like how much I use from that one time, just like, oh, that barely made a dent. But this time around, I've been doing really great. Hold on, the first one might maybe not just because I haven't really been reaching this one out. But this is Coconut. It's the moisturizing body wash and it's from here to right here. Not too bad. I feel like this is something that's kind of like, eh, you, you did okay. I do use different body washes that are not particular these Bath & Body Works ones. So whenever I get a little tired of like a fragrance or a scent from the Bath & Body Works ones, I'll use something else that I have in my shower. Just like using different products. So I don't get sick of the ones that I do have in my project. I have this at the beach shower gel. Love the color. And I have gone through a lot of it. This is one month's worth. Yeah. I remember talking about how most of the goals I had for the last initial video to try to get at least halfway done, but it would kind of be nonsense for me to just have this in my collection for like another year until summer starts again. Because summer is still going on, you know, fall is like quickly coming by. It's rainy today. It looks really spooky outside, but I just feel like my goal is to try to get this through and then try to get my siblings to finish this up too because i know they love my bath and body works shower gels every time they're just like oh give me the fancy stuff i want the bath and body works one drugstore who we don't know her so they've been spoiled so i'm going to pressurize my siblings and my roommates to help me get through these products as well but for from now i've been doing this all on my own solo so hopefully you can see this go away but this is so good though i really do like that one i have the bahamas passion fruit and banana flower it's kind of like the similar progress as at the beach but a little bit less i really like this one i'm never gonna get sick of bahamas passion fruit and banana flower just because it's so good like i think it's just like a perfect scent for any time year round honestly i have the vanilla rainbow sprinkle shower gel look at this hey not too bad I have been using this with my Confetti Cake Pop Body Cream Lotion and it just pairs so well when I'm just wanting like a vanilla buttercream moment. And lastly, for the shower gels, this is Cotton Candy Clouds. This is a Canadian exclusive. Well, this was and then they brought it out for SAS in America, but I did get these from Outlets and they're just so cute <laughs> but i do have multiple backups so i wanted to finish this up i think i can get this done though i'm so happy that i did get these because of the packaging and how good it smells this is literally so similar to boardwalk taffy but i just love this one so much moving on to the next category we have body lotions now i actually don't have that many body lotions in this project just because i'm trying to get through of my body creams and i have really been trying to not use body creams as much which is kind of funny and ironic because it's summer because it's really hot and so i don't want to use like a ton but this last month i've been going through the body creams really well so this is oahu coconut sunset and i've gone through this much and i really like this one i also have this bore bore citrus surf the first time i used it i didn't really like it at all i was just like oh it's so citrusy it's so tangy but the last time i did use it i really enjoyed it so if this is a scent that's just a little bit not too harsh but a little bit light maybe my mind will change every time i use a product i'm just like meh it's okay i'm just like oh my goodness it's so good so i have to always try products like multiple times to really get like an opinion on it so almost there pretty good i my goal was to finish this all the way up just because it's one of like my, my older body lotions that i did buy because this was like one of the first ones that i did purchase when i started getting into bath and body work so not too bad we have this relaxing seaside breeze body lotion from aromatherapy and rah, rah, <laughs> the progress is kind of not my like cup of tea just because i know myself and how much i can go through it so i am going to use this tonight and uh, hopefully we can get this through by the end of the month talking about aromatherapy we're going to continue on with body creams and if you are new here hi hello and i cut up my body creams because let me tell you guys whenever i see an empty and someone doesn't finish cutting up their body creams they're just missing out because there's just so much product and a body cream so this was at this line all right so it's what it looks like and then i cut it up and because i couldn't get out of the rest of the product and let me show you guys how much product there was oh my goodness i used this yesterday night actually and there's a lot more product in there and so i was just scooping it out just scooping it out with my fingers they also have like little makeup spatulas that you can just use to grab it out but look at this product like are you really using up your products if you're not cutting them up it smells so good 
This lavender vanilla one's my favorite. Oh my goodness, I'm so happy that I've been using this because I've been missing out on it. That's an incredible line though from here to cutting it up. Mm -hmm. All right, this one right here has been a little controversial for myself just because I was scared of getting sick of it This is coconut lime. I'm going to be honest with you guys I think I used this around like three times and it's from here to right here And the last time I used it I actually did like it But the first two times I was just kind of dreading it because sometimes I don't want to smell like lemon pledge And this has been giving me that kind of vibe I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with me and lemon scent. Sometimes I love them and like the thought of like buying them and using them smells like nice and refreshing. But then when I'm using it too frequently, I just get really sick of it. The last time I used it, I actually really liked it. So whatever you want to feel like really nice and fresh, this is your go-to. But I am pretty proud of myself with the progress lines. Next up, we have coconut cream pie. There's a lot of coconut in this project use it up and I have actually been trying to save this which is kind of funny it's from here to like right here and this is kind of like a fragrance that I won't mind using during the fall time so that's why I've been putting less pressure on myself to use this up but I know for sure that I'm going to get this done because every time I use it I don't get sick of it I love this one so much and it lasts so long on me when I spray put the body cream on spray again and then spray on my clothes game changer so good now that i'm like looking at the whole basket i put a lot of body creams in here this one right here is fiji sunshine guavatini i remember telling you guys that this was just a scent that i thought i was going to love like my ride or die in the tropical collection but it's just okay to me i did like it the last time i did use it though but it's from here to right here pretty good progress i think i have like two more uses of it I'm gonna cut it up and get it all done get it all in there and i I'm really happy to almost finish this up just because I don't think I will repurchase this fragrance just because it's just kind of like a standard fruity fragrance to me. Nothing too special about it. This one is the coconut milky fragrance body cream. I love this so much. I went from here to right here. I was cuckoo for coconuts with this scent. I think I have like two more uses of this again. Like all you gotta do is just cut it up, scoop it out. Put it on your body and you really got an empty. Next up, I have coconut mint drop. Oh my goodness, so much coconut. I love myself for that. Progress lines are from here to right here. This one's so good. I will never get sick of this. I do have one more backup, which is why I put this body cream in because I don't want it to go bad on me. And this one has maybe like four more uses left. Mm, so good. I just love this fragrance, especially for the months where it's hot and also during the holidays. I have this gingham body cream and not gonna lie, I haven't really been using way too much of it, but I think with all the body creams that I have around me, it's pretty good progress. But I did recently get the new Ultimate Hydration Cream. I think I talked about that last time and I did make a video of like comparing them, but this is just so good. Whenever I wanna feel like really nice, clean a little bit florally, but not too overwhelmingly florally, this one's just so good, so. Not too bad. I also have this warm vanilla sugar one. This one needs to be cut up. Like she's on the verge of being like donezo. Like one more use and I'm good to go. This is what I mean when I see like empties like this. And you're like, oh, I finished this, but just like, there's just so much product left, but I don't want to like spew hate on anyone that does like make empties and they like, don't cut up the products because you do you, all right? Like you do you, but I feel like I'm getting my money's worth when I do cut up the products. So. This one has been really nice for the days when I don't want like a really harsh fragrance scent. This one just has like a nice mild vanilla extract fragrance, but now I'm, I'm gonna tell you guys now, it's not gonna last all night or all day for you, but this one is just not too bad. Next up, I have Belize Tropical Cabana. Yes, you guys can see, like these are like near to the end dead products to me just because I just gotta cut them up from here to here. Ah, this one's really good. I love Belize. It's like a banana, daiquiri, creamy, summery vibe. I have raspberry jam donut. This one, along with the coconut cream pie that I talked about, is a fragrance that I really haven't been trying to push myself to use up just because I know I can use this year round. So this is kind of like the last resort. Like, I'm getting sick of all these products. Let me use this just to freshen it up. And we're just like, oh, okay, I'm like back and energy boosted up. So I don't mind only having this much of progress in the last month, but I just love this one so good. 
It's so amazing. Oh my goodness. Iconic. And the last body cream that I have is Confetti Cake Pop. This one has been an amazing one alongside coconut cream pie or when I'm just wanting something gourmand. And this one was from here to right here. So we're at the middle line now. I'm really happy about that. If you can ever get your hands on Confetti Cake Pop and you love gourmand vanilla cake batter fragrances, you're going to love this one so much. It's so amazing. It does give me like the same vibe as Christmas cookies, but a lot lighter and less almondy because the Christmas cookies one is a lot more almondy, but I love this one so much. Oh my goodness, this one right here we're gonna kind of put in because I forgot to tell you guys that I was gonna put this in from the project Use It Up. But this one right here is Boardwalk Taffy. I totally forgot to show you guys in the last uh, intro video, but it's from here to right here with the body cream. I'm obsessed with this scent. It's so good. It smells like cotton candy to me, like a nice light and fluffy scent. So sweet. And this is the body mist. Oh my goodness, you guys. This is so embarrassing because I use this like water. So it was from here last time and now it's down to here. I love this so much. I will literally have like one more use out of both of them because I go, I like put it on my hands and then like rub it all over my body because it's so addicting. Let's continue on with more fragrances. And this is the fragrance mist side. Now we talked about body ecology in the last video and about how it was just really hard to get through them because the mist thing is just so hard to finish them but i've been trying very hard to get through them this one is the picnic breeze so it was from here to right here ah not too bad i've been using this alongside with the gingham body cream really good dupe for gingham but like i said the spray is just so hard to finish up that is like one little con this one right here is the island beach paradise now you guys see how like empty it is it was from here to right here i have been like pushing myself to use this so i'm really happy that i have like this much left so i can like get rid of it and not have to buy body ecology fragrances legit nothing wrong with body ecology it's just like the packaging once they like do like a remodel or repackage for like their products i will buy them again but it's just so much of a hassle of just trying to push and like use it up like that and also this bottle specifically leaked and i'm just not taking her around me anymore to travel so i'm just happy to have this at home and just use it up next up is this victoria's secret coconut granita it was from here you know sometimes when you spray the lines will kind of go away so i every time i make a video i have to go back to the previous video of the project use it up made video i made and just like kind of eyeball and see where it was so that's what happened here so it was from here to right here not too bad i actually do spray this alongside of the island beach paradise just because they go well together very easily <laughs> coconut lime Fragrance was from here to here. I'm really happy and impressed by the progress of this one just because I'm almost over it, but almost not over it. I maybe have like two more uses out of it. So really happy about that. I have this coconut fine fragrance mist. This is very similar to the progress of the coconut lime. Mm-hmm. This is so good. This one right here is very hard to use up for me. I don't know why, but I just can't push myself to use it up. This is the Sweet Pea. This was made in like 2012, 2014. And oh my goodness, look at this. That's nothing. That's literally nothing. I'm just like, ugh, I can't use it just because it's so sweet. All right, <laughs> that's what I'm trying to say. It's so pungent and I just feel like a little bit goes a long way with this fragrance. So I'm gonna keep pushing myself to use this, but it's just so hard to motivate myself using this fragrance really hard next up is fiji sunshine guapatini and this one right here is from my tear to right here ah pretty good i got like maybe two more uses out of this it's almost done so i'm proud of myself yes we have magnolia charm this one i use it like water just like boardwalk taffy right here to right here i maybe have like one or two more uses out of this because i've been trying to use the body cream alongside and also the body lotion but i didn't want to put those in the project because i didn't want to like stress myself even more so those are kind of like just products i'm just using alongside with that because they're matchy matchy next up is coconut cream pie you guys know i love it and it's from right here to right here but that's okay this is just kind of like my last resort fragrance just because i can use this anytime around i'm not getting sick of it and if you do see like this weird split and if you are new here i do like to ask my roommates to get like you know like a pocket knife and they just like do like a little strip here 
little strip here and then pull the little piece out just so it's easy to see where the marks are. We have a raspberry jam donut and this one actually has been getting through a lot more than the body cream. I'm actually really surprised. I might have like one to two more uses, maybe one more use because I spray a lot of product. I just love the scent so good like truly such an iconic scent and the last full-size fragrance mist that i have is bahamas passion fruit and banana flower i really haven't been trying to like go super hard on this because i don't mind to keep this one till next year but i do want to get some use out of it so there's there's that and lastly we have the mini spray i was trying to find her and i was just like where are you <laughs> but she was like right behind all the fragrance mist this is bora bora citrus surf and it's from right here to here. Not too bad, but like not too great, but that's okay because I know I can get this done in a matter of moments because I do go through a lot of fun fragrance mist. So that was basically it. Let me know down below what you guys have been trying to finish up or if you finished up anything recently. So yeah, that was basically it. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.